Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do multi-threading in Java. So basically, a thread in Java is like the thing that executes your code line by line and if you make another thread, you can execute more code like at the same time. I'm going to be showing you guys two ways to create a thread in Java. So the first way is to extend thread. We make a new object, main thread equals new main like this. Now you may call this anything, but it just makes it easier to call it thread. And then we do thread.start. And now we have to create another method here called public void run. And then inside we can just write anything we want. So we're gonna just write a system .run. This is in a thread. And up here we're gonna make another system .println and call it this is not in a thread. Now if we run our code, you'll see these two lines of code were printed in separate threads. Now for the second way to create a thread in Java, we have to implement runnable. Now you may be asking, why would we do this if we have already a one way to do it? Now basically the first way we did it, we had to extend a class. But when you extend a class, you cannot extend another class. So just in case in your Java project, you wanted to make your class extend a, extend a class, but you also want to use threads, now you can do this. So we're gonna uncomment this code and we're just gonna call it obj, obj for object. And then we have to create a thread thread equals new thread and put obj in here. And now this code will work just like the last code. Now if you run our code, you'll see we'll get the exact same thing. Now what you guys see here is an issue that you may have in the future. So here we have an amount variable that's an int and it's set to zero. Then we print it out, we start the thread, and then we print it out again. And in the thread, it adds one to the variable. Now if we print this out, you'll see we may have an issue here. We got zero and zero because this starts the new thread, but the new thread did not like make it plus one fast enough. So it printed out zero again. Now if we want to solve our problem, we can put a while loop in here and while thread dot is alive we're just gonna print out waiting and now if we print now if we try this code again you guys can see it printed out zero then it did all this waiting and then it printed out one so yeah that's how you guys do threads in java audios